Okay, so here's a simple phase shifter circuit with only one transistor. It basically uses a basically a phase splitter, but with this extra resistor and capacitor attached so that you can vary between a full 180 degree phase shift to a zero degree phase shift. Pretty, actually pretty ingenious circuit. However, it only phase shifts at exactly one frequency. At other frequencies, it will phase shift differently. The degree at which it phase shifts can be visualized with this phasor diagram. You have the voltage of the capacitor, and you have the voltage of the resistor, the minus voltage and the plus voltage. The minus voltage indicating that it's the phase shifted by 180 degrees. At the emitter of the transistor, the phase shift is zero degrees. Therefore, <clears throat> you have the, your voltage on either end of your capacitor and your resistor, which is made variable so that you can vary the phase. And the output voltage is just the input voltage. It's, it's just unity. And the phase angle is two times arc tangent of the basically the angular frequency times the time constant of R and C. So the angular frequency is basically just uh, 2 pi times the frequency. So nothing really that special. It's just another way of writing it. You can think of it as a potential divider. If you sweep this resistor down to 0 ohms, the output is going to be primarily capacitive, and it's going to be phase shifted by 180 degrees because it's all coming from the collector. If the resistor is at 50 kilo ohms, like if it's maxed out, this vector is going to be huge, and it's going to bring this uh, this angle way up over here. In fact, I've done the math; it's about 176 degrees, not quite 180. But if it if it's maxed out all the way, the voltage from this collector will go straight to the output, or most of it. You'll get some here, and so you'll get almost 180 degrees of phase shift. But if you dim this out, like if you turn this all the way down to zero ohms, the this vector gets super long, and then you have almost all the voltage coming from the emitter, which is zero degrees. And it does go down to about exactly zero because the potentiometer goes down to like a fraction of an ohm, I think. So I'll show you this circuit on the breadboard and show you what it does on the scope. So here's the circuit built up on the breadboard. We have a 50k potentiometer, 0.1 microfarad capacitor, combining the two outputs together. And on the scope, we have two signals. We got the incoming signal, which is at the at the beginning of the circuit, and then we have the output of the circuit, which is now phase shifted 180 degrees, almost. And as I rotate this pot, the phase shifts closer to the pot's scratchy, phase shifts to about zero degrees. And it's not a linear curve, but it does shift the phase very elegantly. And the power supply is running at 22 volts. Okay, so this is the input signal, this is the output signal, and with the 50k pot maxed out, we have the output signal at about 180 degrees out of phase, almost. But as I back it off, it starts to go towards more zero degrees phase shift. And as I vary it, I can vary it anywhere between zero and 180. Actually, it's 176 degrees-ish. I've done the math. So it's almost 180.